Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel, English Skills with Ali. So in today's video, I thought it would be fun to talk about the most used idioms in American English. If you don't know what an idiom is, an idiom is basically just a phrase or expression. So let's get into it. So the first idiom is under the weather. I've talked about this idiom before on one of my Instagram posts, but basically under the weather means when you are feeling a little sick and you're not feeling so well. A lot of people think this expression comes from when people would sail the ocean during bad weather, they would become very seasick sometimes. So to feel better, they would go to their cabins located under the deck of the boat. So that's where we think the expression under the weather comes from. The next idiom is think outside the box. Think outside the box means to think in a more creative or unique way. You will hear this expression a lot in school, in business, and in casual cultural settings. The next idiom is playing hardball. This means that you will do anything and everything to win or to accomplish something. This expression comes from the American sport baseball. In baseball, they use a very, very rock hard ball. So hence, playing hardball. So the next idiom is hit the nail on the head. This means when you have captured something exactly or precisely. So this expression comes from the feeling you get when you hammer a nail into a wall or into something and you hit the nail on the sweet spot of the hammer. Hence, hit the nail on the head. The next idiom is, it costs an arm and a leg. Basically, this expression means that something is really expensive. So I don't know how true the origin is of this expression, but it comes from the 18th century when people would have portraits painted of them. So for example, George Washington, he has many portraits of him. And a lot of famous people, including George Washington, would leave out certain parts of their body, like their arms or their legs, because it would cost more to include them in the painting. So I don't know how true this is, but it's kind of funny and yeah. So it costs an arm and a leg, meaning it's too expensive. So the next idiom is get your ducks in a row. I have also talked about this idiom on my Instagram. Basically it means to get everything organized, get everything in order before you maybe take a vacation or start something new. You want to make sure that everything is in order and organized. So the next idiom is not my cup of tea. This means when something is not to your liking or something um, as far like food, when you don't like a certain food, it's not your cup of tea. As far as the origin of this expression, I'm not quite sure where it came from. I tried to look it up, but I couldn't find anything. So the next one is biting off more than you can chew. This means when you take on too many tasks or too many assignments and you're not able to handle or deal with everything all at once. So you bit off more than you could chew. So the next one is, you heard it straight from the horse's mouth. 
This means when you get information directly from the main source. It could be, I don't know, your boss or something that you've received information about and it wasn't gossip, but you heard it directly from the, the main source, the person. So this expression comes from the 1900s when buyers would try to buy a horse, they would examine the horse's teeth in order to tell how old the horse was. So hence, you heard it straight from the horse's mouth. So the next idiom is let the cat out of the bag. This means when you mistakenly reveal a secret. The origin comes from the 1700s when people would try to sell valuable or expensive pigs in a bag. They would replace it with less valuable cats. So they would try to trick people into buying pigs when really they were buying cats. So when the cat or if the cat would jump out of the bag, then the secret was revealed. So the next idiom is bite the bullet. This expression means when a person must perform a painful task or they have to endure an unpleasant situation. This expression originated from the 1800s when people would have an operation, there was no anesthesia. So in order to help or cope with the pain of the operation, people would literally bite on a bullet to relieve or to take their mind off of the pain of the operation. Wouldn't that be horrible? So the next idiom and the last idiom is riding shotgun. We say this when we want to ride in the front seat of someone's car. So the passenger seat next to the driver's seat. So this expression originated from the Wild West. The person would sit next to the driver with a shotgun to protect their belongings and to protect themselves in case robbers or thieves would come and steal their things. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for all of y'all. It's always fun to learn idioms. If you want to follow me for more daily posts and grammar and different tips and tricks, then be sure to follow me on Instagram, E-N-G underscore L-I-S-H skills. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It's a free way you can help me out. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.